Hey Brewers, I'm Daniel with Keg King and today I'm here with Darren who's our in-house chemical engineer. He's the one that actually came up with the line of Atomic 15 sanitizers that are the Australian made um, NATA laboratory tested line of sanitizers offered through MCH Australia, Keg King. Um, Darren, it's great to have you here today. Can you tell us a little bit about the new line of sanitizer that you've come out with for CIP called Atomic 15 Annihilator. Right, so the Atomic 15 Annihilator is essentially a non-rinse, low foam sanitizer used for CIP procedures. Uh, essentially a mixture of parasitic acid and phosphoric acid, which makes it much more robust at killing bacteria than Atomic 15 foaming. Yep, so with the Annihilator, the correct dilution ranges are between 1.5 to 2 mils per liter of water. This equates to approximately 75 to 100 parts per million of parasitic acid, which is basically your non-rinse kill zone range for the sanitizer. Now, it's very important to stay within this concentration range because if it's too low, then the sanitizer won't be as effective. And if it's too high, then the sanitizer won't be rinse-free. I see that there's a difference between the bottles as well. The, um, the foaming sanitizer that most home brewers are already using, um, being in a clear bottle, is there a reason why it's in a black bottle? Uh, basically to keep it away from sunlight. So you want to keep annihilate away from sunlight and from, high, and from high temperatures, being that those two factors will affect the stability of the product. Um, and trying to keep the, uh, the lid loosely screwed on so as to avoid any sort of gas expansion. Um, so I see you've got a bit of personal protective equipment on. Obviously this is a much stronger sanitizer. What would you recommend that brewers use um, to protect themselves while using this? Yeah, so annihilate, it's highly oxidizing, so it will irritate your skin if you come in direct contact with it. Uh, for this reason, I highly recommend wearing gloves when using this product. Um, also, wear long sleeves, long pants, closed shoes, and eye protection if you have it. A pretty heavy sanitizer. So this is not something that you're gonna use in a home brew setting very often, unless you have a home brewery that has a CIP ball in place for, um, say, a larger stainless steel kind of a tank. Um, or that would work on other products as well, I'm guessing? So anything made from stainless steel, plastics, glass, and ceramics, I would not go ahead and use this on copper, brass, aluminium, zinc products, or, or even iron products. Probably gonna cook all the, uh, all the, all the softer metals then. Um, so really quick, just who needs to be using this product? Anyone using CIP to clean their brewing equipment. So in case you're not aware, CIP is uh, it's a very cost-effective method for cleaning heavy-duty equipment and it's commonly used in food and beverage industries and water treatment plants. Uh, with CIP, you can essentially save up on water reduction by 95%. So Darren, I see you brought some um, test strips here and they say parasitic acid. They must be parasitic acid test strips. Tell me, what, uh, what are we doing with these? Yep, so these parasitic acid test strips are used to test the viability of parasitic acid. Um, simply just dip one of these test strips into solution and wait for the color to change. Okay. If the color falls within the navy blue spectrum, yep. then your sanitizer is still good to use. So basically, yeah, so it's, you can also reuse previous solutions of parasitic acid uh, by topping up with fresh annihilator and then using these test strips to verify if it's still good or not. So just to sum things up for us right now, the uh, Atomic 15 um, sanitizer, that's the foaming sanitizer, the orange sanitizer, great for homebrew use. Plastics, glass, stainless steel, a really good concentration of phosphoric acid, but it foams with the surfactant that's in it. Um, and so that, that works for people that are just kind of swishing things around in their fermenters to be able to get uh, a really good surface cover and sanitation. Atomic 15 Annihilator, CIP processes where people are using spray balls within the systems that they have. Um, where they maybe can't pick up the fermenter because it's a bit too big and swish it around. This is going to coat the sides of the fermenters really nicely and, uh, and kill all the bacteria that you want out of your brewing systems for your, all your brewing processes. So you save water, um, it's really simple to mix. You do have to have some uh, proper personal protective equipment in place before you use it. Um, and if you want to make sure it's staying viable while you're storing it, you can always pick up these test strips as, as well. We'll have those available through Keg King. So, um, Darren, thanks for coming out today and joining us. And Brewers, um, thanks for watching. <laughs>